Today I will introduce you to another region of northern Cyprus. They are live, well, almost no one lives there. But all my residents of northern Cyprus constantly go there. Why? And even more, here in Cyprus I started to eat half of the products that I hadn't eaten at all before. They seem to me bitter, nasty, tasteless, sour. Did you know that here in Cyprus the products we are used to have a completely different taste? Hello everyone, this is Cyprus with Olga Mirosh and today I will introduce you to the agricultural paradise of northern Cyprus. This is Güzel Yurt. We are head in there now and only here on the island I personally started eating olives. I realized that this is amazingly delicious as it turned out. I found out that pomegranates and oranges turned out to be not sour, but a super sweet drop that fruit. And also that in the right place strawberries bear fruit from 9 months of the year. Well guys, our car is waiting, let's go spend a weekend with us and find out what the Gizel your district is. Let's go, let's go, hurry up. I couldn't pass by and not show you our dam. Look at the color of the water. And over there there is sea. And here is our fresh water from Turkey. That's why we don't have any problems with fresh water here. It's all continuing. We didn't get there again, I couldn't help but show you this. Just look, look, do you see it? These are fields full of puppies. It's a puppy season now. I solemnly promise and swear not to stop again. <laughs> we are going, going to Castle Yurt, guys. Isn't it beautiful? Here is the visiting card of Kusel Yurt. These are citrus gardens, oranges, tangerines, lemons, pomelo. All it grows here and even this one show them the flower smells like, like jasmine or something like that. The aroma is absolutely amazing. These oranges are small and probably look very inconspicuous. But I haven't eaten anything sweeter, it feels like sugar that is added there. This is our orange paradise, here are very beautiful gardens. Shooting from drawn, look at all this beauty. Take a walk with us through the orange orchards. You see already at the same time flowers, small fruits and <laughs> real and big oranges. <laughs> what about coconuts? Coconuts don't grow here. These are real oranges no, growing coconuts. here. And here little oranges are growing. You see they are all dotted with flowers, even small ones, but there are really only three oranges. But even so small, they are all strewn with fruits. Look how cool it looks, such a direct well of oranges. And here, as you can see, is medulla. See, it's still green and here it is already ripening. It can be sweet sour, but sometimes it's super juicy sweet. Oh, show us this, Michael. Here we have such medulla. It is its season now. And also, there are two cool universities in this region. This is a Middle East Technical University and it is just here in Gusel Yurt and the European University in Levka. They are really very cool and there is a good quality of education, but as you can see, the students are walking, there are very small towns and in principle, they have nothing to do except for a hostel and students. Therefore, if they get through all these years when you just stock fields in the middle of the forest and a little bit of the sea, they stock a university and a little bit of local residence. If you get through all this boring stuff, you will get a great education. Here you go. 
It's high time for interesting stories about Guzzlejord. Well, quite recently, our Cypriot almost got into such an interesting adventure. Some guys without shame and conscience talked about Guzzlejord, a dynamically developing region, and offered to buy real estate which is naturally much cheaper than in Kyrenia, Iskale, and Isentepe. Why is that? Now we will go upstairs and I will show you this dynamically developing region. The only complex, well, you can say a big one, that is located in Gizel Year 2, I will show it to you from a drone, and several complexes are now being built here. But you need to understand that this is a remote region where tourists practically do not come. People don't really live here, and actually you understand that when it's cheaper than the market price, then there are some questions. There is no good and cheap. There are always questions. And specifically for Gizel Year, this is a question of interest infrastructure. That is, you understand that later it will be very difficult to sell and impossible to rent. And that is, Guzel Yurt is needed for those who want to come to rest in the most secluded place and are not afraid that then this property will be empty. And also people who want to move, they don't really need schools or anything else, that is, they want to live as much as possible as hermits. In this case, you can consider Guzel Yurt region, there is not a big variety of options of real estate. But you can find it as cheaply as possible and with all those pros and cons of those that I listed above. Now I will show you this complex, which is the largest in Guzel Yurt. Of course, finding all the nuances alone about areas in northern Cyprus, why you should buy here or why you shouldn't buy can be really difficult for you. That's why we came up with a thing in our agency, it's called a virtual tour around the districts. Only 10 minutes of your time is required, we call up and we walk with you around the districts and you can already understand exactly which district you need, what to consider, who are interested right on Telegram, on WhatsApp, as well as all the comments in the description below, you can start directly on the links and say I need a virtual tour of the area and you will have a complete puzzle, what is here, which areas are right for you, what doesn't work for you here. And now we are approaching to the final, oh, not to the final, well, not to the final, but to the main, yeah, oh my god, to the main, to the main place of our great trip, are you ready? Let's go! We arrived, yeah! We drove an hour and a half from our house, so the baby fell asleep. And now, if you come to Yeshilirmak, then you should know that just like that, strawberry plantations go one after another. There are no parking spaces here at all. There are very often, there are traffic jams here. Okay, let's go. Are you ready to eat strawberries? Yeah. Yeah, and good. And who doesn't want to collect it, you can buy it straight away. And oranges and all sorts of cheese. Local avocados and medullar too. Small local bananas and they are the most delicious. Apples, you can grow strawberries at home as well. And of course, all other sorts. But we will go pick them ourselves. So, Yerosik has a hat and I have a bucket. A bucket costs 100 lira and you can collect and eat as much as you want and then take it home. Pay attention that it is all covered with polyethylene, that is, the berries are all clean. And also a method when they are grown with the help of hydroponics, they are directly hanging berries. It is convenient to collect because they are hanging on your height, but here it grows right really in the ground. I think this is a more organic approach. That's why we come here all the time. My eyes run up. There are so many red strawberries, just look. I can tell you that it tastes very different. But it is very fragrant and of course the fact that the season lasts almost all year round is very cool. Sweet? Yeah? Yeah? Good. Normal? Okay, I'll taste. Mmm. Mm. Sweet, mm, it yum, is yum, so yum. sweet. Very sweet. 
It is sweet, like bitter sweet. Oh, maybe I'm sweet too. I would like to. Honey, pure bee honey. Oh. Mm hmm. Ay, ay, ay. Mm hmm. Uh, do you remember these children's hands? All in strawberries and scratches, but so happy. So happy. And let's get some information about Chilek. It's a strawberry in Turkish. The season starts somewhere from November to December, and this is a greenhouse strawberry. But such a ground one is there, depending on the warmth of the season, generally starts somewhere in April. But now we are shooting in general. I have prepared a lot of interesting things for you. This will be a record. Today is April 16, and Easter congratulations to all believers. And such a ground strawberry we are having for about a month. That is, this year the weather is warm and good and it will go somewhere until let it say july but it will be sluggish but in november december it starts again that is we almost always have such beauty it's fragrant tasty mm, i hope you feel all this atmosphere now i will take a great picture for you so that you can dive deep into our cypriot beauty Here is our family harvest we have collected. <laughs> I fragrant sweet and super cool strawberries. And now we will go to one more place that we always visit when we come to Kuzel Yurt. And after that we always visit King's Fish. The restaurant is called King's Fish. And then there are all sorts of different cooler restaurants, but here you see. But here you see totally a simple place. Here it's a simple food, simple people. The owner of the restaurant came to us and said that the child was hungry. So urgently we accept the order, please bring your food as soon as possible. That is, there is some kind of feeling of peace here. Here you sit and hear how the sea is swaying. Now they will bring you food and I'll show you. And we even can move the tables and move them where we actually need. Here probably there isn't even some super beauty. The cast is rocky. You can see our mountains, but this is some kind of simple, calm, human happiness probably. Sorry for being pathetic, but this is our nurse in Cyprus. If you felt this vibe, it seems simple and plain. You can even see some rust. But you feel so good here. <laughs> you can also make friends on North and Cyprus very easily and quickly. Especially when you can speak three languages and Yeroska has no problems with that. <laughs> it's all started with compliments. It's fried helium cheese. It is cigar bread. There is also cheese inside. And of course, Yerosik was the first one to be served with potato and a salad. See, no hot cuisine. Very simple salads, fish, potato, barexi car, fresh and delicious bread. Mom, come on, let's eat. So we are eating now, starting now. We haven't had such content yet. Now we are going to eat and we will show you a little bit, just a little bit. Do you need a salad? No, thanks. In general, before moving to Cyprus, in principle, I wasn't a big fan of fish and lemon too. To tell the truth, I couldn't stand lemons. And fish was lemon or in general everything was lemon. This is probably a standard mix when you become Cypriot. As a Cypriot, you add lemon to everything. And it's very delicious. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. We are eating french fries, french fries. Yeah, we are eating french fries. We are eating fries, everything. Fries. And we are eating burek, it's cool and tasty. And also... Mommy, come here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. The count ruins remained here after us. We had a meal and we will go for a walk later. I hope it was interesting for you. I tried to make it as such a light release that you just felt our pace of life here. So you can feel the life itself here. And you can consider if it's suitable for you here or not. If someone already wants to live like this permanently, 
you know where to find me in the comments, there are all our contacts. You can write and we will start working slowly and transport you to your new home. And in general, I'm waiting for your comments. Should I shoot our ordinary come life without some additional information? Because there are several interesting ideas and maybe you will write me what to show from ordinary life here. I don't know, laundries or cafes or something else. I look forward to your comments and see you next week. Bye-bye, my favorite Cypriots. <laughs> water? They gave us some water candies too. In general, this is the most friendly and the simplest restaurant here. Here it is, just located here on the road.